The legendary realm of Genshin Impact, a land of wonder, has long presented a challenge to those wishing to explore it via the Steam Deck. However, fortune smiles upon us. The winds of change have made this journey more accessible than ever before. Today, I shall be your guide, revealing the secrets to effortlessly and swiftly unlock the gates of Genshin Impact in all its glory. This is going to be a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide on how to get Genshin Impact running natively installed on your Steam Deck. It works on the LCD, OLED, doesn't matter. The whole process, if you just follow this guide with all the links below, is actually pretty simple. I ran into one little hiccup, but we go through that and everything went swimmingly. What's different now than what used to be is you used to have to use mods that would do the anti-cheat, which then technically makes it where you're breaking the rules and technically you could get banned for doing such a thing. Where now you don't have to worry about all that. This install is not risking your account getting banned or so I've been told. All of this is made possible with a little tiny thing called an anime game launcher. So this video is gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to get that and how to do this install. And that's all I got, so let's jump into today's tutorial. The very first thing you're gonna wanna do is hop over to desktop mode. Now you're gonna wanna open a web browser and your terminal. Basically now we're totally set up to go through the entire process. You're gonna go to the GitHub that has an anime game launcher installation page, which I'm gonna link this exact page in the description. So you can just click that link and go right from here. And we will then go step by step through this process. On the top of the page, it is giving instructions on how to do this for the Steam Deck. There should just be three things that you copy and paste into the terminal. However, I ended up with an error and had to add one more step to this, but don't worry, it was very easy. So first, it wants us to copy and paste this first line into our terminal. So hit that little button, copy it, paste it over here, hit enter. Looks like nothing happened, but I guess something happens. Then you go down, there's one more line. It wants you to copy this, which you have to drag it over there. Hit the copy button, paste, enter. At this point, you should be able to install the launcher, which will get you an anime game launcher by copying that, pasting it, and hitting enter. Except I came up with this error. It wanted some other thing that it could not find. But the quote unquote other thing that it needed is literally the thing that it's asking for. So I just copied what it said it can't find. Copy that bad boy. And then you write flat pack install flat hub and then paste what it couldn't find. It finds all of it. You say Y for yes. And then it installs this. It says it's complete. I feel like that's what it wanted. At this point, I just went back and redid what I already did just in case anything else needed to go through that wasn't working. All right, second time's a charm. I copy it. I'm gonna paste it, hit enter, and what do you know? This time, it found exactly what I needed. There were no errors. An anime game launcher, perfect. Put a little Y for yes, hit enter. Installation complete. Congratulations, at this point you have completed step one, which is honestly the most confusing part. Now you can open up your Discover app or just look at all your applications and lo and behold, it is there. So launch an anime game launcher. The whole installation process is very intuitive. Just follow through the questions and answer them. I'm installing on my internal SSD, so I'm not changing anything, but that is where you would put if you wanted to put the launcher inside your micro SD card. All right, keep going at this point. Again, these should all be correct. Just make sure that they are the most up-to-date versions. Hit download. It's gonna go through this jam. It takes a little bit of time, but once it finishes, hit restart. Now the launcher is going to actually download the game. So this is gonna take a long time. So what we can do during this time is set it all up on your Steam Deck to run through Steam. All you have to do is open Steam, click the little add a game, add a non-Steam, and there it is. Click an anime game launcher, select it, 
boom. You now have Genshin Impact in your Steam library, but it's called an anime game launcher and has no graphics. So we will remedy this by going to the interwebs and searching for Genshin Impact Steam artwork or whatever you think is going to pop up the best looking stuff. You just need to find a landscape and a portrait piece of art that fits well inside Steam's library. I'm just going to download these right onto my desktop. Not going to spend a lot of time in this. You get the picture. Find something that you like, download it, hop back over to Steam, right click and say set custom background. For whatever reason, sometimes it defaults to like a JPEG image. Just hit that little X and now it'll show everything because you can use a PNG. We're going to change the name and add a portrait landscape by clicking on the little gear icon, manage, and go to properties. And here you can literally rename it anything you want. The little black square next to it is where you're going to want to upload your portrait graphic art. Now that we have the banner art, I'm just going to rename this launcher to Genshin Impact. And that's it. Now we have it all ready for Steam when it's done downloading. However, I don't really love that graphic art with the text on it, so I'm going to get this one that has no text on it and use it instead. But you can pick whatever you want. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Now that we've finished setting up the launcher in our Steam library, we can go back and check on how the download is going. And we just wait. When it finishes, you just have to hit launch. At this point, the game is ready for you to play. You have now made it into the world of Genshin on your Steam Deck. Congratulations, you now have Genshin Impact running natively on your Steam Deck. But let's get it so it's perfectly running in gaming mode. But wait, there's still one more thing we want to do to make it look more pretty, which is adding more cover art. But I think the only way to do this is you have to launch another game, then close that game, go back to home, and now right click, manage, set custom artwork, pick the art that you want, say open. There we go. That looks better. Also, let me know in the comments if there's a better way to set all these different custom artwork banners in Steam. But anyways, now return to gaming mode. You should be welcomed by the beautiful artwork of Genshin Impact and the ability to just hit play. This will open the anime game launcher to which you just say launch. And now in gaming mode on your Steam Deck, Genshin Impact is launching. You should already be logged in because we already did that in the desktop mode. So you should be able to just click in and jump right into your game. Right now I still have my mouse and keyboard set up, but we're gonna need to go into the settings of the game and change over to controller, because right now it's on keyboard. And right away all the controllers work perfectly on the game. But there's still one thing that you're gonna want to custom set up so that you have the ability to jump in and use a mouse on the Steam Deck. Go to your trackpads and on the right trackpad set it as mouse. The right click, set that over as your mouse and as your left mouse click. Touch is going to be set to your Alt key because anytime you're touching the pad, it's going to act like you're holding down the Alt button. Hypothetically, switching over to a mouse mode in the game. I say hypothetically because it's totally not working for me, but I've seen it work for other people. So if anybody knows what I'm doing wrong here or why it's not working for me, please let me know in the comments because I would love this to work for me. At this point, you have successfully completed all the steps necessary to have the game on your Steam Deck, and it should work just like any game in your Steam library. This game looks so good on this OLED Steam Deck screen. Oh, I can't explain it to you. You guys, if you have this, you should definitely install it and run around because it's so much fun. Also, please no judgment. I've only ever played this game with a keyboard and mouse, so I don't know any of the buttons here. It almost feels like Hoyoverse is ramping up to officially allow Genshin to run on Linux. 
I saw that they're even doing a giveaway of a Steam Deck, which sounds crazy because currently they don't even have a real way to install the game on the Steam Deck. But already this was a huge win and a much easier way to install Genshin on your Steam Deck. So thanks to all the people who are out there creating these things like an anime game launcher that are just making it so much more attainable for everyone to do stuff like this. But really the goal is always to just have all these different companies just play well together so that we get a better experience. All these things should just seamlessly work. They shouldn't gatekeep all this stuff from us. But I would love to hear all of your guys' thoughts. What do you think about the current state of all these types of games and what you can and can't do with them? And are you gonna try doing this install or have you already? And was it easy for you? Was it difficult? Leave comments below if you're having trouble with anything. I'm sure myself or others can jump in and try to troubleshoot for you. Just, you know, all the good stuff. But more importantly than everything, the most important thing you can do today on planet Earth is hit that little subscribe button, leave a little thumbs up, and we'll all be good. I'll see you next time.